hey hi all in this video we will discuss about architecture of salesforce so the this is the core architecture of salesforce the salesforce architecture is a series of layers sitting on top of each other so core architecture of salesforce is multi tenant multi tenant environment where where we have uh, multiple organizations or multiple people working across the instances different instances at the same time then we have metadata metadata is nothing but a data about data and it's a metadata driven architecture then we have api application programming interface to interact with the third parties on the system itself then what are the terminolo terminologies which we use in salesforce architecture first is app all metadata elements such as objects v uh, vf pages classes objects uh, etc are independent of an app an app simply helps you cluster things visually however internal metadata has nothing to do with the app but you will be able to have a similar tab vf page etc in multiple apps so if you have if you are having two apps for an example one is uh, one is sales app one is service app one is uh, one uh, one can be a school app in the in all the three on all the three you can use contact so in that way in all three apps you are using contact object instance and instance of salesforce is particular configuration that you see when you log into salesforce a salesforce instance basically indicates server details for a particular salesforce organization on which it lives it is possible for many salesforce instances to live or uh, to live on one server while an instance is created based on the location of the user it will be changed based on the region from where the user logs in so it uh, it checks like from where the user has last logged in from last 10 days 12 days 2 months 3 months 12 months and accordingly it, it maps that instance to the nearest server then we have super prod super prod is the arrangement of a framework and stack balancers including outbound intermediary server system and capacity foundations mail servers sand texture and various other frameworks supporting different instances then we have org that is organization it is a single consumer of salesforce application every trial that begins on www.salesforce.com or developer.force.com produces a no, new org and org is incredibly adjustable and has very clear security and sharing settings security as in who, what are what all users can log in uh, at what time they can, uh, sorry what uh, what will be the ip addresses which they can use to access that particular instance and what are what will be the sharing setting to share the records or the data the ui look and feel work processes triggers custom articles custom fields or standard salesforce crm questions and also custom apis are very adjustable in an org then we have a sandbox whenever a sandbox is created salesforce copies the metadata from your production org to sandbox org so metadata data driven architecture so every each and everything which we which we create in salesforce has a xml file attached to it or has an xml format file in the back end that is passed from production when we create a sandbox out of it by doing so you can create multiple copies of your production org in separate environments so for an example you have created there is a new instance or there is a new org new project is going on you have created a production org then you you will create multiple copies like dev01 uat qa environment that all will uh, then there will be like once the code is developed in dev then it will move to qa qa will test it then it will move to uat then user acceptance testing will happen and then it will move to pre prod and then it will go to the prod so as you can see in the diagram so now the next is there are four kinds of salesforce sandbox that are full then partial copy then dev pro and dev so what's copy it when we have a full sandbox full copy sandbox or full sandbox in that metadata and all the data which resides in production if it is a partial copy sandbox then metadata and sample data some of the data then in dev pro metadata only in dev metadata only data storage in full it is up to 5 gb file storage is 5 gb partial data is 5 gb and fi file is also 5 gb in dev pro data is 1 gb and file is 1 gb in dev we have data 200 mb and file is also 200 mb file is nothing but the note and att attachments which we save in the in that or 
we post something in the chatter as a file that that will be accounted in the file refresh cycle 29 days the partial is 5 days dev pro is one day and dev is also one day and quantity essential zero professional zero enterprise one and unlimited one so in this additions we get full copies and full copy sandbox uh, like in enter enterprise edition we get one in unlimited edition also we get one in partial we get uh, we get this into in partial and uh, enterprise and in unlimited in dev pro we get in enterprise and unlimited and dev we get in all like essentials professional enterprise and unlimited cost 20 percent of net license plus 15 dev sandboxes then partial copy 20 percent of net license plus 10 dev sandboxes dev pro is five percent of net license plus five dev sandboxes and bundled with sandbox add-on purchases then we have multi-tenant in salesforce architecture in salesforce all data is stored in single database schema for all its customers it is economical because resources and maintenance are shared so we are using the same shared resource shared instance means like uh, for an example okay. sorry okay so uh, it's a shared environment where we where we create our own instance according to our requirement and then we utilize it so the maintenance thing and all the things will be taken care of by the salesforce itself we don't have to worry about that there can be single instance of software server with multiple tenants the provider has to update only one application and the changes will get updated for all the clients and in multiple <coughs> in multi tenant architecture there is common application service to multiple clients as you can see in the diagram client a client b client c there is a common application for all clients and then the other database so in this case the developer can create a salesforce application upload it onto the cloud and share it with multiple clients the major advantage of this multi-tenant architecture is that it becomes cost effective as the application is shared by multiple clients the development and maintenance cost of an application can be shared at once this makes the application very economical per client also if the developer or the provider wants to make any update to the provided software he or she can directly update it in just one place all clients using the application will get the updated version comparing this with the single tenant architecture each client will be having one particular software or application that means they have to update accordingly like for a client a you have to update one for client b you have to update another one so in the single tenant architecture the development and maintenance maintenance cost has to become completely owned by one particular client also if the developer wants to update the application he or she has to manually update it for each client besides only one application will be able to satisfy one client metadata in salesforce architecture salesforce platform uses metadata driven development model developers need to concentrate only on building applications functionalities of an app are defined as metadata in the database this increases developers productivity the issue of security gets stored the issues of security get sorted with this particular architecture since here all data is stored on different levels that is data about data all the data is stored in shared databases the metadata points to one particular client data in a shared database consider three clients a b and c sharing a single database these clients will have access to their own metadata from the shared data so each client will have separate metadata this ensures that you don't get into someone someone else uh, someone else's data or metadata this also increases the security of the shared database Developers just need to create the application and deliver the application to the respective clients metadata and CRM and related functionality in its list of features Salesforce include all aspects of CRM functionality CRM is nothing but a customer relationship management and it also provides features for the creation of apps integrating analytics and more enterprise ecosystem the enterprise eco ecosystem of Salesforce is very huge there are contributions from a large number of partners by creating and maintaining applications in this platform 
This ecosystem is created on top of Salesforce unique business model that is focused on engagement and collaboration. More you engage, more you collaborate, new ideas will arrive. API. API is a powerful source of API is provided by Salesforce. The APIs help in the development and customization of Salesforce mobile application. These APIs enable diverse bits of programming to, intra uh, to interface with each other and trade data. These API are comparable without knowing many details. You can connect your apps with other apps. That's all for the architecture of Salesforce. Thank you.